Okay, so I've got the uh, breaker shut off, so I'm going to begin taking down the temporary leg. Okay, I've got my light removed. You can see here that I've got uh, two blacks and two whites. That's because in this washroom I've got a second light that's over here. So one of these blacks and one of these whites is the power feed from the switch, right there. And the other one here is the feed that goes over to this light. So what I need to do, because in this light fixture, I've only got one black and one white to tie to. Um, I need to uh, twist these two whites together and these two blacks together and then connect onto these. So um, that way it will bring power to our second light. So I'm going to start by um, mounting my bracket and then I will uh, use my pliers and twist all this stuff together and begin with the install. So I'm just straightening out these uh, wires on the uh, temporary light fixture. I had to uh, curve them and put them underneath some lug screws. Uh, with the new fixture, just gets attached by uh, twisting the wires and um, and tightening some rats on it. So, so I'm going to start by twisting these wires. Together. They're much thicker than the, fi the wires that come in the fixture, so I'm going to twist these together first and then twist the fixture wires onto these. Okay, so I've got uh, both these wires twisted together. Here's my ground wire. I'm going to, uh, this, this mounting bracket, which the fixture screws down into when I get it installed, I've got to make sure it's in the right spot. It's got a little adjustment screw on it. So I've got a hole right there and a hole right there. So I'm going to hold the fixture up loosely and see I'm actually going to mark a little line um, where I need that bracket to be and then I'll make the adjustment of the bracket to make sure that it's straight when I go to mount this light.
Okay, so now that bracket has been turned to be right on the angle that I need it to. Now when I'm mounting a fixture, I like to start by mounting the ground wire. So when lugging wires around screws, again, you always want to go in that clockwise motion. Um, as long as the fixture's not too heavy, like this one, once you've got the ground wire attached, you can uh, let go of the fixture and it will be held up by the weight of the ground wire. If the fixture's way too heavy to do that, you might pull the ground wire out. But, uh, you know, use at your discretion. Okay, I've got my um, ground wire and run it together. Just going to take my white and my white. Now when twisting on the rats, always do a test check to pull your wire to make sure it's stuck in there. That one's pretty good. Grab yourself a piece of electrical tape. Tape that right on just so you know it's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to proceed with my black. Okay, nice and secure. Okay, so I've got all my uh, wires ready together. I'm just going to stuff them into the box and put the uh, Final screws in to hold the fixture in place. Okay, so this fixture is fully mounted, uh, looks pretty good, nice and level. Just going to uh, install the bulbs. Now it's very important that when you're working with a uh, light fixture or even just switching bulbs in your house that you read the recommended wattage of light bulb and type of light bulb so that you don't have a fire hazard in your house. Um, it's really important, some light, some light fixtures that are closed in, um, if there's too much heat that's available to get built up inside the fixture, could actually light um, stuff on fire in there because of how hot the bulbs get. So um, really, uh, you got to know the exact wattage of the type of bulb that's required for your fixture. Okay, one down, one to go.